Wait, hello, hello, how are you doing? This is Rosa, RCG Creations. Did you know? <laughs> we are having a little gathering. Hubby's birthday's today. And we're heating up pre-purchased rotisserie chickens. And a lot of people don't know how to reheat them again. We got these yesterday. Save on time on prep day. And take your chicken out. Make sure you got clean hands, clean table, clean tools. And because we got three different flavors, we want to make sure we separate what is what. So I got three different containers. And I'm going to put on top of the foil. I'm going to write down the Sharpie so we know what each one's name. But I'm just going to do one. What you do is you put in one cup of chicken broth and the bottom of the pan, which is about half of this cup, this can. This can is 14 ounces. Okay, and then you're going to get your chicken and put it inside there. Close this back up. That more likely will go in the garbage. Got a paper towel because you need to wipe your hands. I'll put this other chicken broth in this pan. There's some of that fat that fell off the chicken. You're going to get your foil. Oops, I made a big mess. Look at that. I made a big mess. Oh, you can't see it. Look at that. I spilled some of the fat from the chicken when I transferred it over. So you definitely want to wipe that down. Wipe that off. Okay, that's not garbage. That's why I got two little paper towels. Now we're going to cover the whole thing with foil. And then you're going to bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, let me get my sharpie. This one is the Mesquite Barbecue. So I just want to put it on top just so we know. Mesquite, how you spell mesquite? Barbecue. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh. I want to put this in the center of the chicken. Alrighty. So we'll have that yucky cough someday it'll go away. But it's all weather related. Allergies? Pretty bad here. Yeah. And the foil is with the broth is gonna keep the chicken moist. So that's why you want to make sure you give yourself plenty of room to totally enclose it. And then there you're done. Wasn't that easy? Okay, we'll bring it back. We'll come and do the taste test. Okay, we'll bring it back. Okay, we are back. But with so much family around, I forgot to do the video of the finished chicken. So we get pieces of chicken. <laughs> so I was able to put them all with the type of chicken on each plate. And as you can see, there's hardly anything left. So guess what? Everybody said they loved it. Very juicy. Hey, Carl. They were very happy with it. Hey, Carl. Okay, so we'll be back. One of the guests had to come back for something. All right, so here is the lemon chicken. See that? Here's the Italian herb. And then this was the mesquite barbecue. And... Everyone was very pleased. They all said 
asked me how did I reheat the chicken because they saw, let me show you, they saw the containers and we let them know that we wanted to buy a skit of variety because there's seven adults here tonight. Sorry about the move there. So that everybody can get pick and choose what they wanted. Almost everybody picked a little bit of everything and everybody was commenting about how moist it was. So did you know is casserole dish, baking dish, whatever it is, you want to have it some kind of a lip on it. Half a cup of chicken broth. Put the entire cooked rotisserie chicken on top. Even if you did it with baked chicken the next day or day two days later, whatever, however you do it. Take it out, put it in the dish, cover it with foil, 375 oven, 20 minutes, boom, the moisture of the broth with the chicken cooking keeps the moisture in the chicken. So, win, win, win. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.